Taurus. Welcome to my channel. I am the Soul Teacher. I'm here today to do a very special reading with you. So, guys, uh, that's interesting. 1111 <laughs> is all about, it's interesting because that popped out. It's all about twin flames. It's all about new beginnings. It's all about spiritual awakenings. And the reason why I'm so excited today is because I'm doing a very different reading with, with you today. I am going to draw one card from the tarot deck. And that's the excitement that I've, your cards have got so much energy. I'm going to draw one card from the deck and I'm going to um, pause the video and I'm going to channel a reading for you. Come back and then do your reading. So this is what Spirit wants to talk to you about today, Taurus. This is what Spirit wants to talk to you about today. Let's see. Wow, the King of Swords. Okay, so the King of Swords is someone that is victorious in battle. He's not necessarily about to go into a fight. He is the king. He, he has mastered everything around it. He knows what he wants and he just went and he got it. So that is what the King of Swords is about. I'm going to go channel your reading. I'll be back. Taurus, King of Swords. So this reading caught me off guard a little bit um, when I channeled it. It is not at all what I thought it was. Um, I know that I said what I said about what the King of Swords stands for um, and what it really means, but in your life, not necessarily. So. Just a bit of a disclaimer here, guys. This is quite heavy. And it's, like I said, it caught me off guard. I did not realize that this is what it was going to be about. So, let's get into this, shall we? I'm, I'm like, taken aback completely. I'm very, uh, I don't really know what to say about this. So, I'm just not going to say anything. And let's just get into this. And see what this is about because I have no idea. So <clears throat> I just want to draw one more card of um, a message from Spirit for you. Message from Spirit for Taurus, please. Oops, a message from Spirit for Taurus. Okay, right, Taurus, let's see. Okay. Where in your life are you, are you looking at things with too little emotion? I'm going to repeat that. Where in your life are you looking at things with too little emotion? Time to go. Okay, so <clears throat> that, would, that would explain my next channeled question. Because what did I cut out of my life that hurt me so badly that... I, oh, now, <laughs> sorry, I couldn't read my own handwriting, that I now feel emotionless. So, I feel here, where in my life am I looking at things with too little emotion? You had to go. You had to leave. Something, someone, you had to leave. This is an ending. This is a nine. You had to go. By the way, the 11-11 portal of this here is a nine. So, um... Yeah. Anyway, so what it, what is happening here is you had to leave a situation, a person, a career. Um, you had to leave something in your life, and be, you you felt so deeply about it that you cut your emotion off. Um, and now we're going to see what it is that spirit wants to talk about here because i feel that for some of you there might be more than one thing what did you cut out of your life that hurt you so badly that you now feel emotionless about about everything wow so taurus <clears throat> did you have the oh no, this is very heavy did you have the the chance at having a beautiful, loving, peaceful life. 
and because of something that you felt you needed to cut out because of responsibility you had to let this go so i feel that maybe you met someone but maybe you're married and you have kids or you have a difficult situation with your parents or with family or whatever and you had to let this person go because of responsibility what you think is responsibility so the king of swords is a guy who can look at something very um, straightforwardly without emotion and make a decision accordingly but that's where the problem comes in with being human is that we make things we make decisions that would impact us so badly emotionally that we then can't function so what i'm feeling here is maybe you left a job that you were so fulfilled at, that you loved so much, but you left that job for something else that you absolutely hate doing, but it gives you more money. Maybe, um, I don't know, it's, put this into context, however it resonates with you, it's gonna be different for all of you, it's a general reading. Please feel free to reach out to me if you want a personal reading. I just really feel that you guys might really need it um, for some reason. Um, how do you heal your heart from this? Wow, okay, guys. You, you heal your heart from this when you realize that whatever it is that you're doing right now, that you think was the, the, the best decision is not what the best decision is because it's not meant for you. We have stepped out of the energy of doing something because it's the right thing to do um, and we've, we've stepped into doing something because it feels good. It feels right. It feels like it resonates with your soul. Whatever it is that you left behind right now, the only way that you can heal your heart from that is to realize that where you're at right now is not meant for you. You need to go. You need to get out of that. Sure. How do you uplift yourself enough to find your true soulmate? Okay, I completely forgot that I channeled that question. So this is about someone. It's not about something. How do you uplift yourself enough to find your true soulmate? Find the source within. I'm going to read you the relationship message though. Spirit just said, read this one. So <clears throat> I'm going to read it. I'm going to read you the relationship message. Okay. You can expect someone to favor you with positive news. This could be in the form of a letter, phone call, or email. You are the intended receiver of this message, so stay open to what you learn. Only good will come of it in the end. The signs are all there. I am going to read the oracle message as well because I'm not quite sure what Spirit wants to say here. Spirit sends you signs when you ask for them. When you believe you will receive them, receive them, and when you allow yourself to become fluent in the language of symbols, oracles, and omens, that's what that's the message Spirit wanted you to hear. They may come to you as a bird flying by, a logo on a truck, and a song on the radio. Expect confirmation that you're pointed in the right direction. Keep your ears open for someone might say just the right thing that will give you the answer to your query. Today, your message is this, spirit hears you and the reply is favorable. Okay, so Taurus, I feel here very, very strongly that the reason why this question came channeled through is because you really do want your soulmate. So whether you have met your soulmate already but decided to not pursue something because of responsibility or um, a commitment or whatever, um, or if you haven't met your soulmate, quite yet it doesn't really matter the fact is spirit has heard your plea and spirit says the answer is favorable so the question here is how do you uplift yourself enough to find your true soulmate follow the signs that spirit is giving you and honestly that is the very first thing that came to my mind when i saw this card is find spirit within yourself find the answers from spirit in yourself that's the messages you should look for. Signs, symbols, oracles, readings, logos, songs, all of those things, because that will lead you. That's the method spirit is going to use to lead you to your true soulmate. Your outcome, Taurus, 
Wow, everything you've ever wanted. Love, life, splendor, prosperity, wealth, health, everything. That is your outcome, Taurus, but you need to listen to spirit. Look how closely these cards resemble each other. And look how closely these two cards resemble each other. It's interesting. Wow. This is glorious. A message, message from spirit, spiritual abundance. Thank you, angel, for blessing me with infinite abundance. If you follow the signs of spirit, Taurus, you will never be led astray. You will find the prosperity, the abundance, the beauty, the soulmate, everything you've ever wanted. Taurus, I hope this helped. Please have a wonderful 11.11 portal day and I will see you again soon. Take care.